The next fight, uh, the UNW5 Legends Colliding Copper, Slovenia Seaside, is going to be for the European title. Torej naslednji dvoboj bo za šampionski pa za evropski naslov. Dvoboj, the next fight, number 13. Presenting the referee in the ring. Mladen Krančec, Croatia. And we are presenting both fighters. Rasan, the Pitbull. Muharev from Denmark. Versus youngster, young talent. Vlad Diamond Twino from Russia. Let us see, let me introduce the third opponent from Denmark, Rasan Pitbull Muhare. The Pitbull Mukharev. Hey, 172 centimeters. Let's see here, let's remarkable. 132 fights. 100 wins, 32 by knockout, and 32 losses. And his opponent is going to be from Russia, Vlad Diamond to Inno. <laughs> Tripping and they acting funny. I don't know him, I don't know him, I don't know him. I don't know him, never seen him, I don't know him. I woke up in my new Bugatti! 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 I walk without etiquette, I talk without etiquette. I'm that nasty boy that these bitches will never quit. Uh, my boss in this bitch like, uh, vanilla with the chocolate chips, yeah. I'm nasty, I'm nasty. I was born a hypocrite, hypocrite. Lying on my truthful shit, tell the truth when I don't know what the fucking answer is, yeah. I drink till I'm belligerent, had sex with an idiot, I guess I'm just that ignorant, I'm nasty. These hoes and all this money, bitches tripping and they acting funny. I don't know them, I don't know them, I don't know them. I don't know them, never seen them, I don't know them. Vlad Diamond Torino from Russia. He's hit 175 centimeters for a youngster of 19 years old. 34 fights, 32 wins, 
eight by knockouts and only two losses. We are still shaking in handling King of the Ring, who will be elected by Welcome Spa for Man by the end of the night, of course. championship the wb5 i need strong hard and correct fight okay my voice is common i say stop you with stone no elbow no clinching take glovers or right every corner this is a title fight the one and only of this event calling legends collide ktorý je tvoje dvoboj z Danoslav Erovského prváka. Jediný dvoboj nocový za šatpionský pás. So Rassan Makharov, the pitbull, and he is a pitbull in the first round, first round and a half. He's going to come out with aggression and try and win, but he's going up against the champion of 71 kilograms for W5, Vlad Tuna, who's only 19 years old, but is making his mark in the world of kickboxing, probably faster than any other fighter. This guy, this kid is just amazing. He's only 19, amazingly poised, humble, respectful, and most importantly, confident, and he can fight. Very smart. He's got a great coach in Andre Chadden. We saw one of his fighters earlier, Sergei Chadden, which is a little controversy regarding that fight, which took place in the early preliminary rounds. But uh, Vlad is definitely a fighter you want to see. He's not been knocked down yet. He's lost actually twice, both by unit, by decision, uh, but not yet knocked down. He has eight knockouts in his career. He's very powerful. It doesn't always lead to knockouts. But he's got a lot of power, and he keeps his opponents off guard. And you can watch how smart he is. The only thing that concerns a lot of people that watch him is uh, the frequency at which he throws the spinning back kick and the spinning back fist. High risk, high reward, and you see it right there. But if his opponent can time it and counter it, it really could be lights out one day for Vlad Tunov. And I asked his coach if, uh, if this is actually part of his strategy, and he, he said yes. They actually train to throw it at a high frequency. And you see Rasan laying a couple good punches. And Vlad yet to really land anything on Rasan. Good mid kick, right jab by Vlad. Not much behind it, though. Rasan usually comes out very aggressive, a little bit more poised right here. He took a right on the chin. He's very strong. He had a controversial fight against Jabbar Askarov where uh, really he took the first round, lost the third, and many believe that it was a tie in the second. Good high kick by Tunov was a tie in the second. Uh, Rasan knocked Jabber down in the first round. And Jabber doesn't go down, so he's, he's also a legend in his own right. Um, and then it went to an extra round where Jabber completely controlled. Rasan had no energy left. And I talked to Rasan about it, and Rasan said that this is the best he's felt uh, in a long time, and he was not 100% when he fought Jabber. And so he believes that he's conditioned to be able to go the five rounds that this will take for a championship title. So he's got a pace, but he took a left right right there by Tunov. And Tunov hits with, a, with like a truck. Another left by Tunov and Rasan trying to land that high kick and just missing it. Rasan very quick in his own right. Rasan already 35, so he's getting up there in age, but he's still very fast and very poised. Good left again by Tunov. He's laying those shots and making Rasan miss. Nice knee, nice right, left by Tunov. On to the knee by R Tunov. Rasan's on the ropes. He's not stunned yet, but he is on the ropes, and Tunov clinches, and he backs off. Tunov really putting a, putting a slaughtering on Rasan right now, and Rasan looking a bit hesitant. He took some big shots right there. And maybe that might be part of the problem with Rasan. He didn't come out as aggressive as he usually is. There's that mid kick by Vlad right underneath the arm. And let's see if we can get that last combination. There's that high kick that landed by Tunov. 
And there's that right, left, left, right. I want to see if we can get that where he got stunned. A good left hook by Tuna. If he's going to land his punches, he's accurate. And there's that knee. He followed up by a right jab, and that is what stunned Rasan. Rasan looking a little worried over there in the corner, so we'll see what happens. But Tuna, he can really come out and do some serious damage here. But this goes to show, Rasan is one, is, a, is an extremely tough opponent. And what Tuna just did shows you what this kid is capable of at his age. He is the future of the 71 kilogram weight division in kickboxing. Good right jab, getting to the defense by Tunov. He's quick, he's strong. On a Good great right. counter left hook by Tunov. He caught Rasan coming in. Showing so far Rasan's chin. Took some big shots so far here in the first round. Whoa. Tuna loves to do that one too. Hey. It's actually how he got secure uh, out. Good laughs. Oh, he took a right left by Rasan right there. There wasn't enough leverage on those punches by Rasan because he was moving back while throwing them. But they, it shows you his power because of Tunov's head snap back. Yeah, I did. So Rasan is a very strong fighter. Good left hook by Tunov. Both very strong fighters. And unlike the uh, Tunov Glunder fight, where it was very technically sound, uh, we're seeing a lot of power right now out of both these fighters. There it is. That's that. That is a legal shot. And that's what knocked Ali Sakir out. And Rasan didn't even be phased by it. Good left jab by Rasan. So Rasan really being poised in the ring where he's usually extremely aggressive, especially in the first two rounds. And I actually think that plays into Tunov's hands because it's forcing a, a technically sound fight. And although Rasan is technically sound, he really goes in for the kill early on. Yeah, and he got him out of his game plan yeah. from the beginning. You know, he fights different now. But it shows you the chin Rasan has. He just took a, that shot right there, spinning, that jumping, spinning heel kick. It's just, uh, you know, square, landed square. Good left hook by Tunov. He did a right, a left jab. Nice high kick by Rasan. They're just trading blows right now. Maybe Rasan knows it's a five round fight and he's uh, taking it easy in the first two rounds. Maybe yeah. he just switched up his strategy, but I believe that, that just fighting to win a, the fact that he's fighting him just forced him to be a little more, more tentative. It's possible. I mean, he has, 100, he has 32 knockouts and 100 victories. So he is a knockout fighter. Nice oh, body shots body by shot. Tunov. They were thumping shots. Tunov looking very good in the ring right now. Ten seconds left here. Not an even match right now at this stage. Nice low kick. Oh, and a good high kick by Rasan. Caught him right underneath the arm. Yeah, luckily Tuna have his, had his uh, right arm up. Now you look at Tuna, man, physically. Now, if you looked at him last year, yeah, physically he was ripped, but he was much smaller. He hasn't gained much weight, but he's gained mass. And he's much bigger than he was last year. And this has actually translated to a much heavier hitter, but he hasn't lost his speed. So they actually brought somebody in to help build the mass. Chadden has worked to make sure he hasn't lost his speed uh, or his technique. And what you have now is a much more dangerous fighter in Vlad Tunov. He hits harder, he's just as quick, and he's just as intelligent. And you see for a 19-year-old, he's extremely smart in the ring. Yeah, and the mass also comes with age alone. And if, with that, you have a conditioning and strength coach who and knows, yeah. <laughs> who knows what just, to do. Just not the kind of massive fighter one. Yeah. <laughs> but we're talking about Vlad. We're probably not talking about beer lovers. Me. Yeah, <laughs> you. And, uh, That's why I sit behind the mic <laughs> and I'm not in the ring. If we can just get you off beer, <laughs> you'd be a champion. And get in the gym? Yeah. Never. <laughs> I'm already tired watching these guys all night. <laughs> nice low kick by Tuna to open up the round. 
And unfortunately for Rissa, oh, oh and a big left right Counter by strike. Tunov. There's the knee, left, right, left by Tunov. Rissa stumbled back. Yes, his Good eyes rolled. Good spinning back kick by Tunov right in the midsection. His eyes rolled, but uh, now he's uh, clearer. Instantaneous eyes roll uh, back, and yeah. he's, he's, all his wits are right there, but Tunov went after him. Yeah. But that's a sign of an experienced fighter, you know. He knows how to, to accumulate punches. Yeah, and the punishment, you know. He, know how to, uh, he knows how to take them and come back. Tunov's in there for blood, that's for sure. You can see it on his face. He's a determined fighter. Nice right jab by Rasan. He just missed that high kick. He was off balance when he threw it, but uh, mm -hmm. again, Tunov was open on that one. It was a good missed opportunity by Rasan right there. Oh, good right uppercut. uppercut by Tunov. And Rasan is eating these punches. It shows you his chin, and that can be very frustrating for, an, for uh, a fighter who's throwing and landing big, hard shots and is having no effect. Because you wonder, what else do you have to do? And Rasan is throwing some kind of uh, jumping jabs at uh, Tunov. Yeah, I never really, you know, he, he lunges, and I've seen this a lot with fighters, but it's almost like a telegraphic. Good left, right by Tunov. Tunov's got Rasan in the corner. You know, yeah. when you see a fighter lunging, I, I really think it's only a matter of time before the, one of the punches, because it's telegraphic, and it really, between one punch is going to really land and knock you out. You know, you're giving, you're giving almost a full half a second for the fighter to realize what you're doing. I, I'm much more of, the, uh, of the, the team that believes in bobbing and weaving and working yeah. your way inside. And you also mul multiply the force of your opponent's punch when you lunge in. You go straight into the punch. You maximize its uh, force and weight. So it's easier to get knocked out by a counter punch. But I'll tell you, it shows you Tunov's shins because he's taken some good shots already, too. Good left hook by Tunov. Yeah, but I, I think he's breaking him down. But Rasan's landed some big ones. So here we go in round number three. We got 40 seconds left. It's been a hard fought between both. Good left by Rasan. But Tunov still controlling this fight, more or less. Rasan showing his experience and that chin. A nice left square on the chin again by Tunov. Another left hook and nothing by Rasan. He's a tough guy. Good right by Rasan as Tunov tried to come in with that left. Ten seconds left here. Good left again by Tunov as Rasan tried to come inside. That is the end of round three. Two rounds left in this title fight. I got Tunov really up three rounds to none. I really think he's dominating this fight. Rasan really not doing enough at this, having a hard time getting inside. And Tunov laying the bigger punches. Not to say that Rasan has not landed big shots on uh, himself on Tunov, but I just don't believe that it's enough. See that spinning heel kick right before the, the ring is quite slippery at this stage. So here we go with round four. Will there be a knockdown, a knockout? Can Rasan handle the abuse that he's been taking and land one great punch to push round Vlad back and change the tide of this four. fight? I don't know yet. Right now, I don't know. All I know is Rasan has full wits. He's in there, he's fighting hard. He's taking a lot of punches. He's landed some good ones, but overall it has been Tunov's fight. But if Tunov gets overly aggressive, oh, what a big left by Rasan! Wow! That just snapped Tunov's head right back. And Rasan coming in and Tunov laying his own right. And now anger starting to kick in. What a huge right by Rasan. Good right by Tunov on the ropes. And that shows you Tunov's shin because that's about one of the square shots I've ever seen him take. Good counter left by Tunov as Rasan barely landed his uh, left. These floors are slippery. You get in those corners right now.
Good body shots by Tunov. Good mid kick by Rasan. Coming off those ropes. And the fighters now starting to lie around on the ground a little bit. Not, none of them are knockdowns. Good body shot by Tunov. He's trying to line Rasan up. Rasan in the corner. Tunov looking for the kill. Rasan coming out with that straight leg kick off the corner. Good right by Tunov. Another right by Tunov. He's lining up Rasan. Good left hook by Tunov. Tunov just looking for that opening. Nice jumping, spinning back kick. And again, it landed. And Rasan not even affected by it. One moment tonight where Rasan looked like he was stunned. But since then, he has taken every single one of Tunov's punches. And Tunov has landed a lot of big ones. Both fighters well conditioned. Rasan looking really good over there tonight in the fourth round. He, the last couple fights, you see him in the later rounds. He looks gassed and tired, but he has paced himself quite well, and he's held up quite well. Although I still think his change in strategy has benefited Tunov a little bit more. He hasn't landed enough big punches on Tunov as Tunov has landed on him. Good high kick by Tunov. And he's got Rasan in the corner, and Rasan gets out of the corner. He does not want to get stuck there again. And Tunov trying to go with that right. Good right hook by Tunov. And he is hitting him hard. And Rasan, man, love this guy's chin. Ten seconds left here. Oh, a nice jumping punch by Rasan to end the round. The last round. What a battle between these two guys. I still have Tunov up. I think he's winning every round at this point, and not necessarily by much, but I think he's doing just a little bit more than Rasan is, is able to do. But a great performance by Rasan because he's taken some a beating, and uh, he is not faced by anything, and that shows you the chin. Oh, he's a, he's a champion. You know, he has that champion spirit. He will not go down. Yeah. He will fight till the end, if he can. If he is able to, he will fight. He is one tough fighter. And I love this scene that we see on the screen, just before the the strike stats. Yeah. You see the, the light shows and the ring. Kind of gives you a great taste of a show that is going on here in Copa. It is a great show. Great fighters. Uh, I love W5. They always show off the local talent. You know, whenever they go, no matter what city they go to, they love showing off the local talent. And, you know, these come. Oh, big left, right by Vlad again. And these countries all have great talent. Good body shot by Vlad. He is going for the kill, man. He's winning this fight, but he wants a knockout. He wants to do it in style. Look at those body shots. Oh, his by body Tuna. is open. Rasan's body is open. I think this could <laughs> could mean the end. Rasan, oh, see oh it there it is! That's what A liver shot, and he goes down finally. After four and a half rounds of taking abuse, it was finally the body shot that Vlad was looking for. What do you do when you're a fighter? Go straight back at it. Yeah, he's leaving his body body open. And this, uh, Vlad is just teeing off on him. That's going to be over, I believe. No, it's standing there, Cal. He's just, he's defending himself. If Vlad would just switch up now and go to the head, he would knock him out. The next one's over. Vlad with a high kick. Another shot by Vlad. Body oh, shot by it. Vlad, that's body it. shot. It's over. No. The third count, but I think this is a, this it's is not a, a guarantee. Be. Rest stop. It's the next. It's over. Vlad Tuna, baby. 71 kilogram European champion retains his title. Congratulations. Rasan put up a good fight, but he took a beating at the hands of Vlad Tuna, and he tried to stay in there. He really did, but he didn't have an answer to Vlad's fighting skill.
Good job, guys. Stay tuned, I'll be back. I gotta go in the ring and do an interview. Really a great performance by uh, Vlad Twino. We'll be, not, we'll be waiting for the official decision, but uh, we, have, we have a winner, and uh, Dan just went up to the ring to do uh, an interview with, with uh, Vlad Twino, the winner, and still the European W5 so, dear champion. So, sports fans, I'm inviting Ms. Svetlana Schneider, presenting welcome to come here that she's gonna May awards to the hands of the European champion. So, and also, of course, president of W5 organization was organizing this big uh, event of professional boxing, Mr. Sergei Cepinoga. The winner is by knockout in the fifth round, Lat Diamond Duino! Here we got new world champion of professional version W5. From hands, Miss Svetlana Schneider coming from Welcome, sponsorship and partner of this event. And of course, President Sergei Cepinoga, big award champion belt for Vlad Diamond Tuino. And we can bring some big warm applause for his opponent, Rassan the Pitbull Muharev. Chocolate chips, yeah. I'm nasty, I'm nasty. I was born a hypocrite, hypocrite. Lying on my truthful shit. Tell the truth when I don't know what the fucking answer is. Yeah. I drink till I'm what? What? We have some questions. Now, this is Pirvi, Pazdravlayu, Navasha, Pabieda. Congratulations on your victory. I. You dominated this fight from beginning to end, and you landed a lot of big punches. Were you expecting your opponent to be able to handle the onslaught that you gave him today? Vasha Sapernik показал, что у него есть очень сильный, но лицо, да. И вы думаете, что сколько ударов, что он может получить? Я в первую очередь уважаю этого парня. Он большой молодец, показал, на что он способен. Так получилось то, что в первом раунде я ничего не вижу правым глазом. У меня просто там черное пятно. Так бы, может, все было чуть получше. Но огромное спасибо ему за этот поединок. Я очень ему благодарен. Огромный респект ему. He's an extremely strong opponent. I knew this. I had a lot of respect for him in the first round. I couldn't really see out of my right eye. It got better. But all I can say about him is he's an amazing opponent. Uh, how does it feel to defend your title successfully? Как вы чувствуете, что вы защищали это рамани диодамой с вами? Ну для меня это огромная честь, то что теперь этот пояс вновь у меня. И во-первых, я его получил в бою с таким прекрасным бойцом, поэтому он для меня очень важен. So it feels really good that I got to take this belt home with me tonight, and it feels even better that I was able to do this by defeating. Such a strong uh, opponent. Okay, what would you like to say to the Slovenians and to your fans back in Ariol? Огромное спасибо, Словения. Я очень благодарен вам за вашу поддержку, за ваши крики, аплодисменты. Спасибо вам. Огромное моему городу, моей стране, России. 
моему городу Орлу, всем тем людям, которые болеют за меня, моим спонсорам. И, само собой, конечно же, огромное спасибо W5 за этот бой, за вклады силы, которые они вкладывают в меня. Огромное спасибо Сергею Чепиноге за организацию этого турнира в этом прекрасном городе, в этой прекрасной стране. Огромное спасибо. Uh, everybody's cheering, so I assume everybody understood what he said. He says they have a beautiful city. Thank you all for supporting him. Thank you for having this fight. Thank you to Sergei Chepinoga, the president of W5. Uh, thanks to everybody and lots of love to his home city back in Ariol. Vlad, congratulations. It was a pleasure to watch you fight, buddy. Rasan, just a couple questions for you. Uh, you know, when you watch your older fights, you're an extremely aggressive fighter, but today you are a little bit calmer in the ring and more patient, uh, but you had a hard time getting inside on Vlad. What was going on? I think they say you get the, you get vice and more, like, with the age, so I, like, I have uh, learned that I don't always have to walk in and make a hard fight against a special boy like this kid. Just look at him. He's an amazing fighter. I've been watching some of his fights. I know he's a strong opponent. So I think I had five rounds and I had to take my time. So no brush on. So what's next for you, Rasan? My next fight is going to be an uh, MMA fight in Tunisia. So, but everything comes up before or after, I'm ready. I just love to fight. Win or lose, I just want to bring it on. I think you put on an absolutely great performance. Uh, even though you lost today, I want to thank you for coming out. It was a great fight to watch. Do you have anything you want to say to the Slovenians here? Awesome people. Massive backup. I could hear all of, all of you. So I'm taking you for all the support. All right, thanks a lot, Rasan. Good luck in the future. It's been a pleasure.